Not Jimmy with a TWA. Oh, wait a minute. I'm obsessed. I had a ball. <laughs> I had a ball. Ooh. Who did that? So that's you ate. It's very much so given Steve Harvey. You know you want strong chocolate man to come to your rescue? A movement watch for $40? Be for real. I know you can't see the vision now. I know. But once the outfit and the face is together. <laughs> Hey gems, it's Grandma Shamima and we are back at it again with another vlog. Ooh, baby, I am tired, okay? Sleepy. <laughs> per usual, what else is new? Currently getting ready to go to Lay Gym. Um, yeah, let's do this spray today. Um, people always ask me where I get my workout clothes from. 99% of my workout clothes is from Fabletics. <laughs> um, I, I wear a lot of Fabletics. And, and they don't want to sponsor the kid. <laughs> they don't want to work with the kid. Like, I'm about to join Lululemon gang. Maybe they'll appreciate me over there. <laughs> um, oh, ironically, this top is from Kohl's. <laughs> Wow, the one day I, I talk about what I'm wearing, I switch it up and wear some cold. I don't know if y'all remember my cold sponsorship. I wore this cute little set. It was real cute. Yeah. All right. It's not drop things. You don't even belong there. So I can things slowly start to get out of place. You got stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. But yeah, so getting ready to head to the gym. This is the look of the day. I'm gonna put on my sneakers and then head out. So I'm trying out these shades and I'm debating if they're like cute in general or makeup cute. Also, do we see the skin? Like I'm I'm sorry, like I don't know how I'm gonna take it, but I have to do the full microneedling facial, like, or was it the sunglasses that was like, <laughs> I feel like my skin is just looking really great right now. Um, I did not go to bed until four in the morning. <laughs> and I overslept, they didn't even hear my six o'clock alarm, didn't get up till seven. Why was I up till four in the morning? Who knows? I wasn't even scrolling on TikTok. Oh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Just know that y'all will be reaping the benefits of that, okay? I ended up doing some early AM shopping. <laughs> um, but that's because I needed outfits. And um, also I was planning a haul, but the haul is kind of like it was a little weak, so I bought a few more pieces that um, caught my eye. They had new things that arrived. And I also want to make sure that there were clickable links because I was like, the pieces that I had ordered before weren't that recent. And so even when I went back to look, some of them were giving like, mm, there's only a couple sizes left. So I went back to, to see if there's anything in the new arrivals and there were, so. Cute, cute. Oh, where did I get this water from? I got this water from the facial place. I don't know why that's still in here. I felt I had a water bottle in here and I do not. So I'm about to be in there free balling it. I'm currently wearing the Kiss Argan Oil, I guess lip oil on my lips right now. And I like the wand. It's a spatula, a plastic spatula, which I'm not used to applying glosses and stuff with. Mainly, I love how it smells. Oh my gosh. I go to the beauty supply store and get my, get my hands on more of these. I don't know what oil they got in there, but it smells real good. So hopefully, you know, no white stuff build up on the corners. Let me go. All right, I started. But, um, 
yeah i'm struggling today i got a bag here for my weekly thrift store drop off so i'm gonna do that right after this and then i have more errands to run but i gotta go back home first because the things i was supposed to do this morning they were not done but um let me know what you guys think. I, I like the shades i'm just debating if they're only makeup cute or they're just cute in general they're not as wide as i would love for them to be but it's better than most so i'm not mad let me know your thoughts also like that it's not so dark that like it looks like it's nighttime you know i kind of want to work out with them but that's a little excessive all right brb gonna go die uh, okay now that Child, that was a real workout. Chimima, you know better. You cannot take off the hat while you're still sweating because then it's gonna feel gross when you put it back on. Um, that was a really good workout. I'm gonna feel that one for sure. And I want a little extra too. Whew. I saw a Arden's garden on the way here. So I'm gonna stop and get some like green juice, I think. What am I, Jimmy? She gonna put some gloss on. <laughs> like, am I addicted? I feel like my lips are nothing without gloss. But I mean, like, look how they pop though, like. You can't, you can't tell me the gloss lip doesn't do something to you. Um, all right. First, we're gonna do a thrift store drop off real quick. Then we're gonna go to Arden's Garden to get some green juice. I really need some protein, but I refuse to, I refuse to buy that because I have plenty at home. So, the muscles just gonna have to wait till I get home. <laughs> yeah, it is juice shop. Okay. Do I even need that? <sighs> I doing it. Maybe you should just go home. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna go to the first store and then go home. <laughs> Cause like, do you need green juice or do you need protein? Let's prioritize here. Green juice does sound good though. And I just wanna say that I told somebody that it rains in Atlanta like once a week and they're like, no, it doesn't. The vlogs are proof, cause what is it doing right now? Raining, it rains when I was inside. Got the juice, coating got me dripping. Ooh, that was a good workout, my goodness. I'm going to feel that tomorrow. I told y'all, I, 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 I like that she's making me do things I've never done before. She's pushing me past my comfortability. Oh, baby, I'm doing like Serena by next week. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be getting Serena by next week. Period. Closed. I don't, I'm confused. Um, excuse me, are they closed? Oh, 
Thank you. My legs are gonna feel like noodles tomorrow. Wart. It is about to pour down. Oh my gosh. Um, I meant to leave the house earlier, but <sighs> the cramps was, was doing what they do. So I had to take a moment. Courtesy of ibuprofen and heating pad in bed to gather my life because it was, it was falling apart by the seams, okay? My life was, you see shredded chicken? Yeah, that was my life. So I'm like, dang, now I'm about to go and run out all these errands and um, it's about to pour down, honey. Oh, I probably should have parked right in front, but whatever. Anyways, I'm going to pick up my ring um, and have them polish off that used earring they sold me. <laughs> um, and hopefully I'll be in and out before it pours. Ain't a lick of sun outside, and here I am with these shades on. Contact dried up in my high bowl. I thought I was gonna be contact free. <laughs> All right, y'all. And here it goes. It just started. Oh, me. Okay, let's go, guys. All right, at the beauty supply store, real quick to pick up some base for my hair. Tell, but about to bring the rain. <laughs> Look at all that just to walk, like girl, be for real. Like who's gonna run? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, plans canceled. Cause I'm not. Oh, it's gonna show. Oh, it's gonna hold it. Yeah, plans canceled. Cause who, who's about to be following me about in this weather? Not I. <laughs> uh, anyway, shout. I be trying to tell y'all, Beauty Supply has the best shades. Okay, like I guess these are Versace dupes. <laughs> yeah. Period. With the face. Mm. Come on. Come on. Come on. And these with a face? My goodness. My goodness. With a fire lip? I know you can't see the vision now. I know. But once the outfit and the face is together, will Jamila be the girl in the club with, with the uh the sunglasses on? Hmm, maybe. Just might. Just might. And I got these. I was like, when did the beauty supply get so fancy? Like they had like ones that you could try on and then you pick up your box. <laughs> like when did the beauty supply get so fancy? But these are super cute. Like wowzers. I end up getting a small, a smaller mister. Um, because I, I didn't need all that. It looks cheaper. This is a $2.49. The other one was like $13. I said for what hair? 
Oh, for why? Chill, let me get the extra small because that's what I need. And I saw that Ruby Kisses had a makeshift butter gloss. <laughs> so I grabbed one of those to see what it's giving. Because Bee Supply also got the best glosses, not all of them. Okay. Um, this rain is very much start and stop. You just like me. You just like me. A start and stop at home. Yeah. It's giving twins. But I'm telling you, with the right outfit, like, I know it's, it's giving, it's probably giving mosquito right now because the lens is real Ooh. small. But, like, just wait. Just wait. Where's your son? In my imagination. Okay. Yeah. It's time to go. Da 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 da. I'm filming a luxury collective haul. I don't know if it'll be up by the time this vlog is up. But if not, I just have to show you guys my ring. Like, I'm obsessed. This hmm, is definitely top two of my favorite rings. Like, I love her. Top two, for sure. I don't know. I don't know which one's my favorite. Like, I. But yeah, if you haven't seen the luxury haul yet, it's coming soon. If you have seen it, thanks for watching. <laughs> my obsession with jewelry is just. And it's just. I, it doesn't matter where it is. Like. I just feel like beautiful jewelry is beautiful jewelry. I love her. Oh my God. Anyways, child. Wait. No. I was with her away, but let me enjoy it as long as I can before I lose it. Not the weather fighting back, child. It's time to go. I got to go. I'm sorry. My my home is calling me. Ooh, it's the water, girl. Take this. You look ridiculous. Take this off your face, please. Da 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 da. And I'm ding dong, ding dong. And I'm ding dong, bong ding dong. I'm ding dong, dong dong, ding dong. I'm ding dong, bong ding dong. And I really do want to get some work done. Okay, you see, this is the problem with the little phone head, like. <laughs> okay. My bad, y'all. I don't know what I do with the remote. <laughs> um, look, look at my shorts. <laughs> y'all, I'm struggling right now, okay? Struggling big time. So, first of all, um, I think I threw the charger to my massage gun so i had to get another one i did amazon same day whatever but this one is so weak i did not realize i mean i knew mine was powerful because like i could barely tolerate it but like this is nothing i'm like pressing it into my body and it's giving nothing like are you even trying girl like what are you what are you doing like Oh, oh wait, uh, oh, wait a minute, uh, oh, uh, uh, it feels good right here though. <laughs> yeah, but I definitely need stronger, like it's on its max right now, max, max, okay? So it's cute for right here, because right here is sensitive for me anyways, like I don't really like, deep tissue anything but I need it for my my legs right now like my hamstrings like be for real so I ordered another one 
that's supposed to be coming sometime tomorrow morning. Oh, crap, this feels good. My God. Oh. I'm sorry, y'all. Not <laughs> having a private moment. God damn, it's so good. God, Um. Yeah, so I said I was going to spend today and tomorrow at least trying to get my apartment together. But once again, we're at a standstill because uh, I'm debating if I just want to go ahead and hang up what I have now. I mean, I can't hang it up. I don't have frames. But it's so big. But I'm just like, I'm just going to like go back and order new wall prints and get the size that I want because like this is ridiculous. And I figured if I'm going to do that anyways, I might as well show y'all what I ordered because then if it gets messed up, it doesn't matter, right? It just means I wasted so much money. I don't want to talk about it. Um, and I really want to unbox this mirror. I was kind of waiting until my brother was free to help me, but I might just do it anyways and risk it all because first of all, as long as I've had it here, I'm like, if it's broken or something, can I even return it still? Like, I literally cannot wait anymore. Um, but I'm also embarrassed for y'all to see how my kitchen looks, how my apartment looks as a whole right now, because it looks like a warehouse where 16 employees come in here and they shuttle packages in, unboxing stuff, um, pull out samples and everybody eats lunch and puts their things everywhere. That's what, that's what my apartment looks like right now. Okay. Um, and I hate it. <laughs> I hate it I hate it I hate it but you know this is what happens when you're super busy with hauls um, it's just that time of the month where just a lot of boxes and stuff oh my god and so I need to do a lot of returns tomorrow I was planning on doing them today but child my life is nothing I keep forgetting that I don't have all the stuff that I used to have when I was um, sending out stuff from Poshmark because I left those at Kim's house. So like all like the mailer label stuff. So I had to reorder that. I, my tape finish, I forgot all about that. So I'm like, I can't even tape out the boxes and the bags and stuff. So hopefully they'll come tomorrow in time for me to pack everything up and get them all out the door. Cause I need to free up space here. Like I'm tired of looking at boxes. Oh my God. Ooh. Like, I wasn't in pain here, but man, did that feel good. Should I show you the prints or should I wait until I... I'm going to open one because I do want to see the, the full situation to decide what I want to do. Trying to place this order or not. So, let's go ahead and look at the full shebang, child. Okay. I ain't never been with nobody. I ain't never been with Yeah, she's too tall. <laughs> My thing is, I think I was intimidated by the length of the walls, which I feel like you can't necessarily see in the videos unless I like zoom out all the way. But my ceilings are pretty tall. And I felt like I needed a print that took up the entire wall. And I don't. I don't. I actually quite like seeing a lot of wall trays. But I was like, you know, maybe if I finesse, I finesse this some way, somehow. I could buy it, you know. But I don't want to. And that's just what it comes down to, huh? I don't want to. Like, I am not the interior designer world, okay? I can point to things and say what kind of style I like, but for me to sit here and do it, it's a no for me. That's also how I feel about planning things. Like, if I ever get married, which I severely doubt, but of course you mean you never know, I have no intention of planning my wedding. <laughs> like, if I can afford to have somebody else do it, like, just throw me in the backyard with a bouquet so food and a DJ, cause I, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Like the idea of planning a wedding sounds so horrific to me, which is crazy because um, 
y'all know my friend Jenny. She's she's um, an event planner, so like every once in a while she'll pull me in to work an event with her. Um, but she needs more like hands on deck, and I'm actually really freaking good. <laughs> if not the planning aspect, at the delegating and making sure that things come together. Um, but I, I, at the end of the day, I do like, ooh, child, I am pooped. You do this for fun? You do this because you genuinely enjoy this? You're a serial killer. <laughs> um, yeah. So I was talking one time, I was like, I'm gonna be rich because if I ever get married, at this point, it's your wedding. It's your wedding. Anyways. I wish I had a wedding anyways, like for real, because if I can't easily spend the money that I need to spend for it to look where I want to look, then I'm not even going to do the whole shebang, like, I say this like I wouldn't have a partner that would have some kind of say in it, <laughs> but like for real, for real, like I have no problem, like, take it to the courts, I'm not spending that kind of money on a wedding and for it to not be exactly what I want to be, and for it to be exactly what I want it to be, I would have to be a billionaire because who's spending that kind of money when we can go on vacation for six months and still spend less? Weddings are dumb expensive, like flowers alone. Hey. Ah, God. Watch me be married next year. It's not gonna be like, Jimmy, remember that time when you said, uh. <laughs> Thanks. Another one. Thank you. I guess I'll place this order then. Ugh. Ugh. Ow. Oh. Um. God. I forgot. I moved the kitchen. The, the kitchen. The cushion from this back portion here because I kept laying on it and it was getting all discombobulated. So I just hit like straight bone. Not bone. Whatever's inside. Oof. That hurt. But yeah, y'all basically saw a sneak peek of um, the artwork I'm gonna have. It's gonna be real simple, like I really don't care to do too much. I'm just debating if I can get away with three or do I need four? Because it is a longer wall space. How about we do three and then, actually no. If we're gonna do three and that's just gonna be it like i'm i'm not i'm not dealing with this no more i'm really not let me pick my three pieces 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 of me on sunday i'm waiting on tuesday i ain't waiting on wednesday i can't sleep So once the final frames come in, I'm gonna hire a task rabbit to hang everything up at once. I have a mirror that I purchased for this little entryway area like six months ago, but I refuse to piecemeal like help when somebody can just come in at one time and get it all done. Like order placed. Um, I was able to find a deal where it was a two pack for $100. I need three, so I had to buy two, but that was so cheaper than the $300 that the other one came out for me, so. Ugh. I'm like, dang, if those frames cost that much, the frames for the size I got originally would have ate me up. Oh my God. But, okay, so never mind, that's not happening in this vlog. Because <laughs> I wouldn't know what that 
that's coming. Oh, also, let me show you guys what I got. Oh, Lord, these hamstrings, child. I actually didn't even unbox this yet, so let's do this together. But they have several of these at my um, gym where I train at. Dude, I don't look at my shorts. Skims came out with a new outdoor line, a new vintage line, whatever. And I love everything except these shorts. But I pay for them, I'm aware. These little sticks thing. Oh, this is definitely nowhere near as tall as one at the gym that I use. But still, I was like, this is so great for oh, upper body stretches. Like, oh my God. And also it's really great for helping me get up off the floor. Yeah. That's mainly what I use it for. <laughs> um, we're like doing core stuff or like banded glute work on the turf. I get one of these sticks and I, I hobble my behind up and I, oh, and I go ahead and walk, walk away. <laughs> so I was like, oh baby, I have to get one. Like just the stretches alone just makes you feel so amazing anyways child <laughs> plus I can period let's might try to break in let somebody try to break in Stay like a bee. Yeah. What you thought it was? Yeah, I can't ch -ch hit you with a come on now. Come on now. Can you imagine like me taking this out to the club and like how amazing would this be if we could just like <laughs> I'm going to bed because at this point <laughs> somebody just <sighs> delete my channel. Log me off. Bring me out the class thing. I've been acting brand new. Okay, so it's time to stop procrastinating. Like honestly, truly. I'm gonna have to break down this box. I feel like I should probably move this mirror. Yeah, let me move the big mirror first to my room. Oh, oh, oh God. Ooh. Ooh. There's no grip. No grip. Oh, she's falling. She's falling. Leave. Oh. Oh, God. Y'all, why did I end up ordering the wrong, um, the wrong mirror? I don't know if you guys remember, like, a long time ago, I went to Crate and Barrel, and I saw that gorgeous, gorgeous mirror. That's what I meant to order. I ended up ordering this from CB2. <laughs> Like, how did I mix that up? I don't know, but whatever the case is, this is what I got, so. She, she gonna have to work, cause it's not like I load this in my car and take it back. Also, when you do see the, ouch, ow. When you do see the stuff in this apartment, I don't hear anything about it, okay? I've been working back to back, and then my period came under attack um so you know life happens yeah yeah i don't want to hear anything about it you know God. i'm so scared to lose myself but you mean like you are an adult and there will not be someone to save you and there never has been so i don't know why all of a sudden you you want to be damsel in distress like that's cute, but that's not your life, okay? While it's still somewhat protected. Oh my God, this is heavy. Jeez. Jimmy, you got this. Jimmy, you got this. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, you 
your resources. You have a couch. Lay on the couch. It's fine. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. You can do this. <laughs> you owe me a minute. You don't need a strong chocolate man to come to your rescue. It's not like you paid an arm and leg for this mirror. It's fine. Money comes and goes. If it breaks, so what? That's why you be in the gym. They are dang what you shoot in the gym. You shoot, you shoot in the gym by yourself. You and your trainer. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. Ah. All right. We just remain strategic. We got it done. We're gone. All right. Oh, wow. <gasps> She's in one piece. Oh, my God. This mirror is huge. It might actually be too big. Which is really no such thing, but like it actually might be to be. Um, CB2? Shout out to the way you packaged this box. Like, wow. This really made it intact? Come on. I just knew this was going to be Fuck your mom. Nobody about it. I'm so sorry. People downstairs. I'm so sorry. Okay, yeah. Slide to the left. Do. Slide to the right. Do. Crisscross. Oh, fuck it this mirror. Yeah. Oh, it fits perfectly. Oh. What about Jamie? But she don't. She not gonna measure. I didn't measure this one though, for real. I wish it was taller, but. It's fine. It's fine. Welcome to your new home. Hello. Hello, darling. Oh, what a beauty. The gag is that now when I take a selfie in this mirror, you will see this entire apartment. <laughs> so one thing is out of place, baby. Oh, no. Oh no! I may even unwrap this plant. Like, did I ever move into this place? Are these extra plant leaves? Like, what is that life about? Wow, it really came without a scratch on it. That's amazing, guys. That is amazing. Shut up! A little sconce or something. Is that how you say sconce? Like a cute little like light situation right on top. That'll kind of do something to this empty space here or like a shelving situation. But we'll see when we get the artwork up. Oh my gosh. Now my apartment come together. <gasps> I love the other mirror, but because of all the darkness in the room, having all that dark around the frame of the mirror, it was a little much. So having pure mirrored space. And I love mirrors because if you, if you little McNasty, you know, you could, <laughs> you could, uh, <laughs> we know why you want the kitchen tail, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is not for children. Please keep the kids out because the ideas I'm getting with this mirror is not suitable. Not family friendly, okay? I love this. Oh, wow. I have no regrets for this purchase at all. What a beautiful accident. <laughs> Once again, I wish it was taller, but first of all, Jamima, I, you barely been able to get this up. What you mean, taller? But yeah, ooh, once I get some artwork, I'll put down the rug tomorrow. I'm not, I'm not messing with my neighbors no more. It's too late for that. Put down the rug tomorrow. Baby, not as giving real apart. Ah! Not as giving real apartment. Yeah, 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 I just ended up cleaning. <laughs> I washed the dishes and I never switched out my K-cup stash. So I'm doing that now so I can put in my Nespresso pods. I got a new 
pod holder. <laughs> Let me show you what it looks like. I got this from Amazon. Um, I like these because it's basically self-sized. You just have a bunch of little ridges and then you just put in whatever size um, capsules you have. So I'm putting those in now. RIP my K-cup holder that still has K-cups. I'm like, dang, I low-key still had a stack left. But I don't know. Let's see if anybody has a curate that might want this. This baby Janima has up grid. Yeah. Like, I mean, just the capsules themselves. Like, look how cute. I'm gagging. I'm actually gagging. Um I ordered more of my favorite coffees so far. Um, mind you, I have not been tasting the uh, actual Nespresso capsules. <laughs> I'm actually not gonna put those in there. I'm gonna leave them in here. I think I've tried one, but I still have like the samples here. Oh my God, I haven't tried any, yeah. So I'm gonna leave these as is. I need to start going through these so that I can like make a list and go to the Nespresso store and actually pick up their actual coffees and not the Starbucks one. <laughs> um but yeah the brand of blend i went ahead and bought three more packs of these so i guess i'm gonna switch out right here um but yeah i really love that this is like self-sized and yeah it just closes these dang i'll be crushing these that was i'm making two at a time oh uh -uh. child i'm not saving no money but yeah so that's how it looks so pretty i'm obsessed uh but yeah i need to go through and reorganize my little stash in here <laughs> and i'm pretty sure I, I may have more like k-cup stuff in my drink section down here but that that's not tonight i'm just gonna focus on filling this and i think that'll be it but if i do anything else i will let y'all know gems so i pretty much spent all day today editing so i didn't vlog um i'm actually about to call it a night but i was like i cannot i cannot go to bed without showing all these earrings oh my oh my god so shout out to kyra for putting the girls on for these Bottega dupe earrings because how how stunning are they how gorgeous are they ah okay so all the girls have been raving about the Bottega earrings Amazon came out with Bottega dupes or a seller or whatever maybe multiple sellers I don't know it's I don't know i didn't look into it because they were brass okay y'all know i can't do brass but kyra posted a link for a company i want to say she said they're called fieri fieri jewelry y'all know i love jewelry right y'all know so anytime anyone posts anything about jewelry immediately you have my attention so when she posted these and she said they're made of sterling silver I ran to that website so fast before they could sell out. Listen, okay? I haven't checked since I got these. I literally just picked these up today. Um, but baby, I got them in both gold and silver. <sighs> I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Of course, if you don't have a 
uh, metal allergy. If you can tolerate brass, then I would 1000% recommend you getting them from Amazon because they're cheap, 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 cheap over there. I feel like somebody said they're like 25 bucks around that area. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this. Is this the thing here? No, that's my gloss. Ooh, I don't know exactly how much I paid for these, but it was pricier. I want to say like maybe like in the 60s range. I don't remember. Don't quote me. And don't fight me if I'm wrong, but somewhere around that range, I believe they were. And I'm obsessed. They're so pretty. They come packaged in this box. It's so different. Like, this is like strong saran wrap. But if you are interested in these, I will have the link for the Amazon one um, and this one in the description bar below. I also picked up a few other things. So a lot of times, you guys know, it's mainly Instagram. Instagram is how I keep getting got. Because once you click on one and you buy from one, they just keep showing you more and more jewelry brands. So every day, I'm just being flooded with different brands. Um, and I kind of like to look around to see if it's my vibe. So once I looked on their website, I said, oh, baby, honey. Oh, oh there was a point to that. So the point I was trying to say is that a lot of, um, like, jewelry brands that I encounter on Instagram, they tend to have similar pieces. Um, but I liked that Fieri had some styles I've never seen before. And of course, Sterling Silver, like, are you dumb? Are you dumb? Old school YouTube. <laughs> Look at that. What? What? Oh my gosh. I went out and I forgot to put deodorant on. And guess how I remembered? I'm smelling myself. <laughs> Oh, I'm just happy there's no reason for my aunt to be up because baby Jamima, how could you make that rookie mistake? Ooh. See, I don't wear deodorant in the house and I was rushing to go out. That's what it was. I was rushing. I wasn't even in the mood for real, but I'd already made the plan. So I was like, let me just go. But like, can we just, oh my God. Oh my gosh. I keep discovering so many amazing pieces and my heart is overjoyed okay first of all look at this cute little uh ziplock situation like be for real look it how cute how cute ah! you know who else has really cute pieces darn i never got the name Aaliyah j has a jewelry line riley and something Oh, I, I'll link that below as well. I can't buy anything from her line because they're brass, but she has really cute pieces. Oh my, like I've never seen anything like this before and I can actually wear these. Like, first of all, shout out to the mixed metals. Hello. It's a gold hoop with like li little mini silver chains on them. Like, ding the damn ring, the ring, oh, the damn ring, hold on. Ding the ding 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 i wish these were a little bigger but like look oh sorry the nails like covering the details how cute like just different unique statement pieces that i love i wonder if this is too big for me to like pass off as every day because if these are my new everyday earrings oh my these got a little weight to Ooh, these got a little weight though I don't know if I could finesse um, those as my everyday earrings, but I'm going to try. Baby, those become my new everyday earrings. First of all, nobody can talk to me ever again. Nobody can talk to me ever again. I'm officially on my Beyonce flow. Like, <laughs> like do you see my earrings? I can't hear you. <laughs> Y'all, these might be my new everyday earrings. Oh my God. Like, I felt the weight holding them. Like, baby, they felt solid. But I feel nothing on my ears now, thank goodness. I was a little scared if it was going to be too heavy. But I love... Oh, my God. I'm so happy right now. My goodness. I'm obsessed. Oh, my God. No, no, no. I actually need to log on right now and see if there's anything else I want because I'm sold. Wow, I am sold. I did a really light face today. Um, and I think I'm really, I'm really liking that LYS 
primer like usually i'd be more oily i mean y'all see I, I definitely got a zooey a zooiness about me honey and i did a little hand blot but i forgot my powder um but like the face is still holding on i'm not mad when i tell you i did light like light okay it's like barely foundation i barely covered my dark circles like i wanted to give chill and she's cute she's real cute i didn't go over my cheeks with a like shimmery blush and i feel like if i had i would have been game changer like my cheeks would be so glowy and dewy right now i have a little highlighter on so that's just giving me a little a little something on the cheek but like I'm just, I don't think I'm a matte blush girl anymore. At least not right now. I'm taking a break. I'm in a phase. I'm in a glowy cheek phase and I don't think it'll ever end. Anyway, child. Oh, well, while I'm here, I might as well show you all the glosses. So I don't know if you guys follow Trey Day on Instagram. I've followed her for so long. Like, I haven't followed her for so long. So she came out with um, eyebrow products first, which of course I got. I got everything. Now she like has a whole lip line and stuff like yeah um and they're cute she came out with lip liners and um glosses like really pigmented glosses which are really cute i originally had on this one y'all know i love a peachy nude like oh my god i mean while i'm here i might as well show y'all right because i'm not planning on wearing makeup tomorrow the only thing is i do wish that this lip liner was darker and this is the um, the darkest shade that she has right now. It looks so good when she used it. And I was just like, man. I just like a little more dimension on my lip, personally. But it's fine. But I really do hope she does come out with that darker color. So the fact that I had a gloss on right now, I feel like you're really not seeing... The true effects, the true effects of the liner. It's about to eat. It's about to eat. Like, I'm about to put on this lip and not, like, take a picture or something? Like, so this is my favorite shade. This is the shade Material Girl. Very a Material Girl. <laughs> like, oh, st Stunning. Oh. Like, how pretty is this shade? Like I said, this is my personal favorite, um, this peachy nude situation. But she does have this gorgeous color here. It kind of reminds me of Mike, Mike, Mac Spite. I think that's what it was called. Um, this is the shade Take It like gorgeous color like gorgeous 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 color i'm gonna wear the heck out of that during the fall for sure this one is more of a sheer color um this is the shade it girl because she's that girl she's it period and you could be it too if you want get the gloss <laughs> but yeah Ooh. Ooh. oh oh like i are y'all seeing the material? Like, I feel like y'all not getting the vibes. Like, I feel like y'all not getting the vibes. The vibes. The vibes. So if you're any darker than me, then I would suggest getting a darker liner. Um, the toffee would work. I just like a more gradient effect on me personally. Do y'all see the material? Oh my god. And it's like the more it settles into the lip, like the better it gets. And if y'all don't know nothing about Trey, is that what she goes by? I said like I know her, but if y'all don't know, if y'all don't know nothing about her, know that her lip gloss is always popping. Like I would have supported her no, no matter what, but seeing how she eats with her products, like my goodness. My goodness. Like I'm 
<laughs> Let me chill. Like, I gotta go wash this off? Are you for real? There's nobody I can FaceTime right now just to look at me? Like, I feel like not, I need to be seen. I don't like that. But I had to do it one time, just for y'all. Because y'all y'all, y'all had to see it. Oh my god, like... I'm sorry, I'm looking at the viewfinder. <laughs> but... Also, this is my first time wearing makeup since my facial. And baby, baby... I don't know how I'm gonna take the pain. Well, they numb you, so people keep saying it's not that bad. But y'all know I be dramatic about pain, because I just, I don't know. I feel like not bad for somebody, or like a little uncomfortable for somebody, is like horrendous for me. <laughs> um, but I, I have to get that that full-blown microneedling, because if just the add-on, that little bit, just enhanced my skin texture and just tone overall, I did the, did I even tell you what I did? I did the, the add-on microneedling, and I also did the Salima Light. Um, cause I had like little like light spots on my face and I wanted to kind of like even it out and get that pigment back. And, um, the esthetician that I saw, Dawn, she recommended the light and said it was good for that. Um, she said that she had a burn on her arm and she put her arm under the light for like 10, 15 minutes and she could see that her pigment was trying to come back. So I said, say less, say less. Now, low key, I don't know if that's the same light that I have um, or that they have at Sweat House where I go for um, like my um, hydro massages and, and infrared sauna stuff. Um, I'm gonna ask them, is that the same light? Cause if so, I, I need to step it up and go there more often and actually use the light more often. Um, Cause if I could save me 45 bucks, I'm gonna save it. <laughs> I just want to keep looking at my lips in particular. Like, I feel like they look so juicy, so plump. Speaking of which, Dr. Dennis, gross or gross, I don't know. But he came out with a plumping, like, gloss situation. And the way that his products amp up my skincare and just makes my skin look plush and plump, I know the lip situation guys do the same thing. Like, I know it does. Um, I don't think it's available on Sephora website yet. Maybe it's on their website. I didn't check their actual like brand company website, um, but they sent it to me in PR. Oh, so grateful. Like I'm so grateful because like sometimes there's so many brands and so many products out there. It's like, I wouldn't have tried it if they didn't send it to me, right? They made it so convenient and like, it's like y'all sent it to me and it's amazing. <sighs> wow i'm so happy like my earrings are popping my lip gloss is popping my plumping lip serum situation is popping my skincare is on one i really like the esthetician place i went to i got a good therapist i'm getting invisalign all the little things that i've been meaning to do for the past year i'm finally doing it and i love that for me and most importantly, my lip gloss is popping. Like, Trey, you did that. No, sus, you, 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 you did that. You ate. Four plus four. Ten minus two. Okay. Five plus three. You did that. Sus, you ate. You what? Eight. Aka. Ga. Yeah. Yeah. You ate. It doesn't settle into the creases of your lip. Like it's just, <sighs> wow, wow. Yeah, anyways, that's all folks. I'm going to bed. Um, we're gonna be back at it again tomorrow, okay? <sighs> Everything Emmy wants to say, good morning, gems, except it's, late afternoon <laughs> i have been editing all day and um that was not the plan at all <sighs> Elas. i've been really thinking about my platforms my content what i want to do who I want to be as a person. Like, I just think about so many things. 
Um, it might have been in the frame. <laughs> and, um, and I have been thinking about slowing down on YouTube, mainly with the hauls. Because there are a lot, there are a lot to, to deal with. And I find that I am not as invested in them as I used to be. Um, but I've been maintaining them mainly because I know like you guys love them or some people love them. Um, but like, I think I'm gonna take a break. I think I'm gonna take a break because like, it's just, it's really like a lot to do with. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm gonna stop forever. Like, I, there's nothing that I feel like I will stop forever. Like, I'm just, I love variety too much. And I love to show y'all the things that I discovered too much. So it's not gonna be like forever, but I think I'm gonna slow down the frequency for sure. Um, and I don't know, I just, need to figure some things out because I want more time to live my life. <laughs> I do, y'all. I do. Um, I want more time to do things outside of the vlogs. Um, more time to dedicate to my goal of becoming a better me, right? Um, And I was like, bro, like spending half the day editing is like ruining my life. <laughs> it's ruining my life. I'm being dramatic. It's not ruining my life, but I just need to work on balance. Um, but at the same time, I want to pick up the pace on other platforms. Um, and also work on my quality. So it's not even really like getting time back. <laughs> it's just shifting. A little bit a little bit and seeing how that goes also this fro is immaculate like this fro is eating the girls up i want to measure how long my hair is i feel like maybe like an inch and a half at its longest maybe not maybe an inch y'all see that like, your world has hang time. Also, I've decided what I want to do with my hair. So, you guys know I've I've been struggling to figure out what the next thing is for me because I'm just over the whole bar situation here. Um, I've decided I'm going to maintain a tapered cut. Um, so I'm gonna let this top part grow out and just have barbers fade out the sides because it's not even that barbers are not good i just realized that when you have blonde hair the way that they fit in your hair matters very much because you can see every detail and that's what i realized my last issue with the last barber was aside from him playing with my hairline um is that i didn't like how he faded the blonde the black situation it just it wasn't giving um so one i do plan on re the tips blonde I'm hoping that's not gonna be an issue. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna fade out right here. I think, I'm just trying to figure out how that would look. Um, because I also wanna get into wigs. So like, I want my hair to be long enough so I can braid it down and style it, do twist out and stuff. But I don't want it all over, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, that way I can do like sewings if I want to, or I can get like a ghoulish wig. Um, but also the important thing for me is that if I don't feel like wearing a wig, I can very much so rock my natural hair and it's not like a hassle. Cause first I was like, I always say, if I grow my hair back out, I'm going back to cream and crack. Like I love me a relaxer. But the maintenance for a relaxer, I'm not committed to that anymore. Um, like my roller shirt days are gone. I'm not doing that. Whereas with my natural hair, I can just do a little twisty spun situations, put some product, twist it up, do a wash and go, or whatever the case may be. Or if my hair is braided down, do a braid out, 
figure that out you know i just feel like i have more options and more leeway to play with my hair if i leave a little bit on top so i feel like this is gonna be the season of jamima like trying on new different hairstyles and stuff and i was thinking about that last night i kind of decided last night and i got really excited like i'm thinking of all the hairstyles that i'm going to try and I was like, I feel like this is about to be a journey in in and of itself. Like, <laughs> I cannot believe it. There's so many things I'm gonna try. Not Jimmy with a TWA. Okay, she on an itty bitty teeny weeny afro. Like, it's giving Steve Harvey. It's very much so giving Steve Harvey. Like, like what? <laughs> oh my gosh it's the fact that i now own a comb i haven't owned a comb in years like <laughs> oh my gosh i first i was gonna get a pick but i figured this is the same thing um and it's, it's getting the job done girl i had to go buy the tangler i said uh, the hair is long enough now i, I need some product i need some product Oh yeah, oh yeah, look it, look it, guys, now I'm in my Steve Harvey era, look at my fro, wow, I have not seen my hair like combed out like this in so long, since the pandemic honey, since the shutdown. My hair is growing out by four and I had that high top fade for like a week. <laughs> that was not one of my best moments. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm about to have a shower, wash my hair, run some errands, and then we're heading over to a friend's house for a for a barbecue. I look like somebody's auntie, like dead ass. I'm in my Steve Harvey era! <laughs> Baby, your uncle, your daddy, your bald-headed granny could never. My father used to wear his hair like this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I am dressed, bare, barely there makeup. I'm wearing an old navy two-piece active set. Throw on this little rainbow vest on top with my new balance. Oh, that hurt. The Yaga <sighs> watches JBW bracelets are mainly rainbow. I have my one Pandora one, and this is from like a random website. Um, but yeah, I don't know how this one broke somehow, but I need to go back to rainbow and see if that's more like jewelry because they're the only like bracelets that actually bracelet, you know, and key sunnies. So this is the vibe for today. Got my Suja Uber Greens cold pressed juice and we are ready to hit the road. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna grab my Red Bull tool actually. Let's do that. I'm gonna make sure that I can last the duration of the festivities. <laughs> All right, and now we're ready to go. I definitely meant to be out the house sooner than this, but y'all, when I tell my legs, oh crap, I gotta get gas. Ugh, like, bro. I didn't mean to leave my house sooner, but my legs, my hamstrings, like, they are just not letting up. Like, my body is definitely punishing me for going so long without working out and like okay I get it I get it <laughs> oh okay so I'm gonna have to stop and get gas at some point oh sorry at some point along the way um oh sorry I didn't mean to hit y'all I'm not gonna vlog my way there so that's why y'all not mounted but hey goal let's go let's hit the road jack <laughs> Good morning, Gems. 
<sighs> oh my god. Mm. I went to bed last night um, because I was up pretty late planning out the week. Um, so I'm tired. <laughs> but I kind of do that to myself, you know? I do that to myself. But I'd be excited about planning out my week, y'all. Trying to figure out when to do what. And I need to do a better job of it. And this morning, <laughs> I'm realizing that I didn't do a great job last night because I just, I still just have this natural inclination to pack my schedule. And I really need to work on that because it makes it impossible for me to finish things, you know? Like, I can never finish everything that I set for the day. <laughs> and it's like, what's the point of planning everything down to a T if you're not going to do it anyways, you know? But I'm about to take this Juicera Organic Immune Builder Juice Shot. A turmeric juice, juice shot essentially. Um, it has oil or oregano, turmeric, ginger, black pepper, lemon, and pineapple. I've tried quite a few turmeric shots over the past week, but I think this is the best tasting one because this one has pineapple in it. I don't think the others did. Um, no added water or sugar. But yeah, so I was taking these pretty consistently and um, my knee has been messed up since some fast. My right knee. Did I talk, talk to y'all about this already? Um, so I know I did a post on Instagram and my stories, but I started taking this for about a week and um, my knee was definitely feeling better. And then I stopped. <laughs> I stopped for a couple days and my knee is back to acting up. So I was already like deciding to add this as part of my morning routine but like for sure i just yeah um i found a recipe that seems simple enough that i might try out because in my post i was basically saying that um you know rp my pockets because i never plan on making these i'm just gonna buy them and these are expensive these are usually around like 350 any store i go to so it's just like 350 for this <sighs> mm. I shake it well enough. Uh-uh. 350? I'm gonna put some water in it. I'm getting my money's worth. Stop playing with me. You think it's a joke? <laughs> uh-uh. I want all of that at the bottom. Oh, sure. That is not the right top. I want all of that at the bottom. But, um, yeah, I feel like the past week was kind of like, I won't say trial, but I was like easing my way into things. And so I want this week to be, well, actually I'm still in my easing. <laughs> I'm still in my easing my way in phase, but like you guys will see starting with the next vlog that I will be taking things up a level, taking up a notch. I haven't been taking my little morning Oxy Shred Mix for a couple days. Um, mainly because I was taking this and maybe like green juice or something. And I noticed that when I don't take my little mix, my little glutamine and stuff, I am so much more bloated. Like, wow. And, um, when I first showed you guys what I was planning on taking, a lot of people were asking me like, you know, you take this, 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 and this. Like, how will you know what's working and what's not? Um, but that's because everything is serves a different purpose, right? So, I was like... I realized that when you add um, a supplement or something, unless you're like for real down bad, sometimes you don't realize how much better you're feeling until you stop. Um, so I really was like not being able to really tell how much of an effect the glutamine was having until I stopped taking it for a couple of days. And when I tell you, I had been so bloated and I was like, wow. I haven't been bloated like that for real um, all this time that I've been taking it. So, let me find out. That. And also, my bowel movements were exceptional. When I'm on my P's and Q's with my supplements and stuff, exceptional, okay? Um, 
So yeah, EHP Lab, stop playing to make me an, uh, an EHP, what do y'all call them, athlete, ambassador, something. Make me something. Cause I don't know why y'all y'all playing with me. Hmm. Hey y'all. This is all in my face, golly. Um, <laughs> I am, ouch, currently getting ready to brave this storm that is currently outside. Like, my goodness, the thirst to go to Target and TJ Maxx is very real. Like, is there a dire emergency, a dire need for me to be outside the home right now? No. Is it storming outside right now? Yes. Should I be inside right now? Yes. Am I gonna go back inside right now? No. <laughs> like, sheesh. Um, but I wanna go to TJ Maxx because, oh, hold on y'all, let me get my life together. Shamima, you're so it Ooh, like there is no emergency for me to be outside of my house right now. Why? But you know what? Y'all, it is torrential outside right now. And I'm going to TJ Maxx. <laughs> so I bought these like fake white tulips from Amazon um, and I got the idea from Kim because she has this beautiful beautiful flower arrangement on her um, island and I asked her where she got hers but she said she got hers from TJ Maxx so I was like oh it's not TJ Maxx then it has to be on Amazon so I went to get on, I went on Amazon and the one that they sent me is giving <laughs> babes y'all plucks the flowers before they could blossom but they're fake so how y'all sending me fake unblossomed flowers? Like, be for real. So I'm about to head to TJ Maxx now to see if my local one has it. I feel like they don't, but you never, ooh. But you never know, so we're just gonna go, go see. But when I tell you like a beautiful arrangement, beautiful, like the prettiest, whitest flowers. And I even realized that they were fake at first. I was like, oh my God, these are so pretty. It was when I touched them, I was like, oh, like, are they fake? Like, that's up my alley. I don't get it twisted, the girls love to buy flowers, but what the girl doesn't like to do is constantly change out the flower water. So if I can have that one centerpiece just always be perfect, I can buy flowers when it's just a vibe, you know, but I would know that that one portion of the table will always be perfection, and I love that for me. So I'm hoping that this TJ Maxx has something. Um, there's another one that I'm gonna try out but it depends on how much time I spend in this one. Um, Cause we gotta go and swag it, honey. We gotta go and swag it. Swag it, okay? Okay. Like I'm really outside in this ring right now. This is insanity. <laughs> Jamima knows no bounds. No bounds. Y'all, it's almost that time. It is almost that time. This is cute. Yo, they are not playing. <laughs> like, it's actually kind of ridiculous, but like, it's actually kind of not. Y'all got a couple more days before it's come pumpkin spice season. <laughs> Pumpkin spice. Ooh. Oh, she bought that life. Why she got her legs up like that? Oh, she is about that life. So far, this is all I see in terms of plants or fake flowers, whatever. Yeah, it's not giving. 
at all. This ain't ugly though. I wouldn't mind putting this on my door. Actually. Ooh. Not for that price though. Please. Looking for shower curtains because my bathrooms are ugly. And I haven't seen any at Target that I like. So. Okay, I don't see any.
so I didn't find what I was looking for, but I did find a um, potential blanket basket for the living room. So when I put the rug down tonight, or try to at least, oh, excuse me, we're gonna see how, how it looks. Otherwise, it's coming right back. It's coming. It's coming right the freak back. But yeah, so mission accomplished. No, not really, but I did find some really cute. I mean, y'all know the deal. <laughs> when I go to TJ Maxx, you know I have to look at the jewelry section, and they had some really cute new pieces. Ah! So I got some of those. I found a movement watch for forty dollars. Y'all know one of my most worn watches is movement. I'm just very happy right now. I found some really good things. Anyway, child, to the salon. <laughs> I think I want to try out this shower curtain too, do a side by side and see how I feel about it. So I was also thinking about this one, but I really like the color or the tone of gray for these bath mats and also they're super soft and it actually coordinates with the original one better with this shade right here. So this might be the move. These are what I came for. I'm obsessed.
God. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I had every intention of setting down the rug tonight, but it's just, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, I'm about to hop in the shower and call it a night. Um, Cause this week I'm gonna be intentional about going to sleep at a decent hour. And right now it is. Ugh. Not my uh, my little Luxa situation. Ooh. Okay. Um. So you guys saw. You guys saw exactly what I got from Target. Really, I really want to show you the jewelry that I got. Oh, you guys saw that already, huh? Dang. Was there? There's no haul. I showed her everything while I was in the store. I just realized. But she's cute. I have my doubts if this is gonna. Yeah, I like. I like. Put these in the sink so I can wash these. But I'm geeked over the jewelry. Oh, I didn't show you guys the watches. Haha, <laughs> boom. Um, I found a Movado watch. Hello. Do y'all know how expensive Movado is? Like. I found a Movado watch. She is stunning. And she fits perfectly, don't need extra links, nothing. Like just beautiful. Look at that bare, simplistic face. Just oh, a face, honey, a face. And then the movement watch that I found for $40. $40. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I said, oh, oh, it kept getting more and more discounted, huh? Cause I see one price here is $79.99, but I bought it for $39. Maybe if I wait till next week, it would have been like $29.99. <laughs> but I feel like it might have been gone by then, but this is something different. I don't have anything like this. It's silver, but the face is gray. Gray? Excuse me? But yeah, very cute. Ugh. I really do enjoy movement watches. I'm very excited to add that to the collection and i don't know if you guys remember when i bought like the leaf earrings from tj maxx now i have the ring to match like are you dumb like can you imagine the ring matching the earrings oh my gosh it's so cute it's so cute i feel like i need to go on a vacation honey but like not just any vacation, like a tropical vacation. I love the tropics, I'm sorry, I just do. And I bought this ring here. Y'all know I love a statement situation. Ooh, why is my eye burning? I keep telling y'all, uh, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, even Ross, like they are the gems for finding quality pieces for an affordable price. Like, and I'm never gonna stop shopping there. Never ever. Never ever, never ever. Even like my tried and true brands. Listen, these brands from Mexico have been eating up the jewelry game, okay? Eating up the jewelry game. And I'm like, you know what? I need to start wearing silver more often because my silver collection has grown significantly this year and I need to show it off, okay? I need to show it off. And I was like, this is cute. I don't have anything like this. Mia Fiore. I have quite a few of her, her pieces. Like, this is really cute. Yeah. I was like, I just bought that dang on um, earring from the jeweler. And I feel like the bubble style, the little ball situation is popular right now. So I probably would have been satisfied with this one. But I already purchased the other one. And it's a different shape. Like, it's a different vibe. Like, you need both. <laughs> And I, I had to get the sombreros. I had to get the sombreros because where else will I find cute hats for my ears? Look it. Like, this is so cute. I had to get it. If nothing else, just to have, like, this is a collector's item, okay? This, <laughs> it's just so cute. Oh my gosh. The craftsmanship, like, be for real. Anyways, child, I'm about to call it a night. I am exhausted. I'm gonna have my suja juice because I'm kind of hungry, but it's 10:15, and I feel like once you get to a certain age, going to bed on a full stomach is not the wave, okay? 
It surely is not the way. I was hoping to stock up on more um, pressed juices at Target, but they were completely out. I didn't see any of them, so I'm kind of wondering, did they move them? Because, I don't know. Online it said they had plenty in stock, but it's fine. Either tomorrow or the day after, I'm going to go to Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or something and stock up on more juices. That taste is real green. But yeah, in the next vlog, I'm gonna tackle the rug. I'm gonna tackle the bathroom to see if I like any of the pieces I picked up. Um, I'm gonna do a bedroom refresh. Like there's a lot that I've planned over the next couple of days and I look forward to taking you guys with me. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. I had a time, I had a ball. <laughs> I had a ball, like a movement watch for $40, be for real. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it per usual and I will see you in the next one. Toodles. <laughs>